The $41 million water supply project progressing well throughout the family islands with workers targeting a completion deadline. Chairman of the Water and Sewage Corporation, Adrian Gibson, says the infrastructural upgrades are necessary to improve the quality of life on the islands. We've completed San Salvador. We are going to commission that soon. Um, San Salvador, I think, was one of those islands that had a major development, but no extensive water mains. South Andres has also been uh, somewhat completed. Uh, it, it's only the RO plan to go in at this point. That contract has been awarded as well. And I think we're waiting on the Ministry of Works with respect to the road and, and, and the approvals there too. And then, of course, there's Long Island with phase one, which is now um, already begun. And phase two, which is coming, uh, we intend to extend water to another thousand plus um, um, persons. Now, six family islands will be getting new water mains. Gibson said the project is expected to be completed within 12 to 18 months. I'm not a fan of delays. Um, and so it, it must really be a serious justification for one to delay a project once the project is awarded. We expect all contractors if they win a bid, to mobilize within six weeks and go to whatever island they might be going to. Um, we have obviously a few other uh, things to do internally in terms of design and planning that will lend to which islands we roll out first. Um, obviously we're going to roll out Crooked Island and, and Long Island too shortly.